Hey folks, General Dave here, and I am back with Joel. Hey guys. For another Fallout settlement tour after quite a while. Uh, last one Three was the years. castle. Three years ago. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You've been busy, huh? <laughs> We've both been busy. Today's settlement is going to be Ten Pines Bluff. This one's actually not a uh, very popular settlement because it's in the far north and the building area sucks. There's some smaller settlements like... Some people freaking hate the north. Like, I ain't building up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very mountainous and, um, you know the settlement uh, in the alleyway? Uh, Hangman's yeah. Alley? Yeah. It's a small one like that. But you know me, Joel. Am I gonna let Fallout the game tell General Dave what I'm allowed to build? <laughs> no. You tell of course the, not. You tell the game what it's allowed to do. <laughs> so, I took some inspiration. From oh damn! You have a <laughs> you have a little uh, uh, whatever a sleeve thing. Yeah, I I love I this. Let's say ribbon. <laughs> I've got my ribbons. I love the sash on this uniform, this custom model uniform. It's uh, That's it's awesome. fantastic. Like look at the stars on the <laughs> Your belt too. Smiling too. Like, yeah, I know okay. who I am. <laughs> Weird side note: Ever since I installed Nuka World, General Dave in game will not stop smiling to himself, and it's really <laughs> freaking me out. But don't they sell the Nuka Hards now, or whatever called Nuka Cherry Hard? It's like the beer version of Nuka. That might be. Yeah, yeah it probably is. It's like I'm drunk on Nuka Cola. Uh. So I took some inspiration, Joel, from yeah. my Far Harbor Watchtower. And so I have created a pre-war ranger outpost here <laughs> at Ten Pines Bluff. Uh. Now notice the frame rate dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just daintily jog my way across the bridge here. <laughs> What makes this settlement extra special, Joel? And the reason that both the settler pathfinding. <laughs> <It's chugging. laughs> how did you how did you break the frame rate so bad in this area, and not the uh, the other the island, the pleasure oh, island? I did. This is still thirty. It just uh, looks like it's chugging. Okay. This is still, it's actually locked at thirty. Okay. But the frame timing's a little bit off because okay. up there in the cliffs, Joel. Again. This is not a popular settlement for people to build at. I thought the sign said, we're, we're stranger together. <laughs> nope, definitely we're stronger together. Oh, this is awesome. The reason that the frame rate is so bad is because, again, most people when they build here have to build like out here, right? Like on the hillside, which kind of sucks. Up there is outside of the building ceiling. You cannot build on top of that cliff. Oh my gosh. So, Joel... <laughs> I use a mod called Place Everywhere. It lets you build outside of the build area yeah. to build on top of the cliff. But you can't just place objects outside of the build area. You still can't just place them there. You have to place them in the green area what? and then drag them out. So I built everything on top of this cliff as one unit floating in the sky and then drug it. I could only do it once. I saved first because you have one chance to drag it as one what? unit and place it into place. Because once it's placed, oh you can't edit gosh. it anymore. <laughs> So, Joel, Gosh. welcome to the Ten Pines Bluff Minutemen Ranger Cabin and Communications Tower. So before the war, this was like a, uh, a national park outpost, kind of like a location for uh, people to uh, get information for the local uh, mountainsides and for people to walk around and, uh, and ask for help. And truck. for the rangers of the national park system, this is where they could actually look out for fires and stuff like that because... I mean, look at the view from right here alone, and we're not even up to the tower yet. <laughs> so here... This <laughs> uniform, that's awesome. I have been looting stuff from the museums in Concord. I'm <laughs> it just gets worse. <laughs> this, this is my captain of the guards. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm grinning so creepily at him. <laughs> yes, you're under my command. <laughs> He's wearing a colonial uniform, American colonial uniform, and he is the captain of my guard. In this outpost... He can see clear across the bridge to that, uh, I think it's a raider outpost, or maybe gunners up there on the bridge. To make use of this build area, I have used every possible platform imaginable oh my to put water pumps and... Uh, just because it's hard to build on just the ground, too, yeah, right? That's why people don't really like this settlement, is because it's really annoying to build on the hills. Dude, I love I love this stuff. I love like the just being creative in a odd, like, using a small space to create something really interesting. You know, I, I love just... And of course, for my immersion, I've added things like the water pump systems, <laughs> it's like just hanging onto the side of the cliff right there, <laughs> just barely attached. And this is kind of still a ranger outpost. So you've got just plain old outhouses and stuff like that. Now, when you first come to the settlement, this little shack right here next to the cliff is actually here. But huh. the ranger cabin is yeah. not. So what I did here was I actually stuck the ranger cabin 
right next to the shack and then added some rocks to make it look like the shack had kind of been built like under the cliffside. Mm -hmm. And I added these beams like holding it up, like all, oh my all shaky after 200 years. Again, though, this is still a kind of like farming outpost. So it's kind of dirty mattresses, but um, as you see. All of those crates, that's nice touch. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have your storage. Even if the roof is a little bit leaky. Yeah, did you, I mean, I'm guess, I know you did, but like, just the uh, the, the wire fence or whatever. The, Not like here. This was actually here. This, was actually this there? shed was here, but all yeah. the wire fencing everywhere else on the cabin I actually placed. So, again, this entire platform system, including the repair steps. So you added the, that chicken fen or chicken wire or whatever right there. I think that came with the cabin. Oh, okay. But I added the repair steps. All of the metal paneling and stuff like that, the wood paneling, the ladders to access the turret system for maintenance, <laughs> and the unfortunate souls who tried to survive up here by themselves. That guy's like floating a little bit. He's really excited about those crops. <laughs> we just threw all the bodies of the former tourists just under the building. <laughs> And I had to add like little rocks to help support this new cabin because this was not actually here. Yeah. And again, this is like all hillsides, so you've got to kind of corn is like so nasty. Yeah. No, yes. stop! Don't pick that corn. Nobody wants to eat it. It's all we've got, though. So I'll go around here. You can see this former <laughs> national <laughs> park. You, you and your damn statues. <laughs> like the people who had to build that are like, f you, man. Like <laughs> we're on a freaking mountain. We got to build this thing. Like, Makes you wonder, like, are my settlers making these, or are there really this many Minutemen statues for us to steal? <laughs> yeah, I know. And how much manpower is being used for Brahmin to drag these giant copper statues around? Well, we had to make a statement, and that statement is protected by the Minutemen. <laughs> With the rocket turret right next to looking, it. Looking off into the future towards hope. <laughs> <laughs> towards hope. Let's go back around here. Let's check out the ranger cabin. This is where... The uh, captains of my guard actually stay. This guy must be on break reading his newspaper. Huh? That's right. You better get back to work soon. Uh, march up here. Looks like a, the tunnel snakes. Tunnel snakes rule. Actually, yeah, it does. <laughs> so again, I've boarded up all these windows and stuff myself for my immersion. Ooh. And welcome to the very cozy ranger cabin. Mm. So when you place like these, this. by default, they're just empty rooms, right? So I took a lot of care in here to go around and board up the windows with like different pieces to make it look different. You've got this guy's typing up some reports with his uh, his canned lemonade. Oh, he's typing up the organized reports. <laughs> Gosh, I would hate this place. I would burn it down. <laughs> the general will never <laughs> surrender. <laughs> He'll never stop fighting. <laughs> got our shelf of alcohol and some fresh, fresh mute fruit. I love the uh, the animal heads. We have the deer here. And then over the door, <laughs> just a friendly neighborhood. Like this bear. one is like the football thing. We like hit the top of the ceiling, like yeah, we're go team. You know, like smack the bear mouth. Uh, this, Whoa, who, who's been who's been reading what? It's uh, awesome. <laughs> it's just uh, awesome. Just awesome comics. I mean, it's simple to the point. <laughs> some nice paintings and a nice uh, little coffee set, and some Nuka Cola. I mean, you've got to stay hydrated and alert. I like the coffee pot. That's great. But yeah, I took a lot of care to like hang all kinds of stuff all over the walls to make it look like it's lived in. Yeah, I, I like the fishing supply kind of, or whatever, bob, bobbers. Mr. Pebbles, the first cat in space. <laughs> and this guy's been reading some comic books, kind of pulled his chair aside so he can... He's going to his... get flogged for leaving them out. <laughs> and a telephone hooked up to the communication tower for talking to the castle and probably sanctuary as well because we're pretty far north. So we're going to head around the side here. What does that button do? I believe I have this... Wow, I'm actually forgetting some of the stuff I've added here. This is actually to help with the frame rate. Some of the spotlights are on their own electric boxes. Oh, So well, you can that's just cool. turn them on. <laughs> I guess so you can, they can work at night. <laughs> yeah, so they can harvest at night. Security lights. <laughs> but sir, you, always, you only turn it on when you want us to work more. As we do. <laughs> uh, the porch is kind of run down here. I mean, those rocks that are supporting the cabin have kind of started to fall down since the Great War, so I've added this little platform where you can kind of hop over the railing here, and you guys got like a little hop right there. And uh, we got our fusion backup generator and a garden hose for the garden, supplying power to all the water pumps. And as we look over, you can see all of the turrets covering this place. Gosh. Now, one of the biggest features here at the Ten Pines Bluff Ranger Outlook is of course 
the Watchtower. <laughs> now, Joel, not only did I have to build this entire tower floating in the sky and then place it out of bounds up there in one go, I then went through and detailed this entire staircase piece by piece because the cliff wasn't detailed, like it's not meant for you to go up there at all. So to make the stairway work, all of these vines and little mushrooms and shrubs and small rocks I hand placed Whoa. to help detail the walkway. Dude, that's awesome. I noticed that. I was like, this looks really... Ugh. Like, it like, looks like it just... fits, right? Dude, <laughs> uh, you're... Damn it. Like, if you, you need to make... Like, spit it out, Joel. Just you spit make, it out. Like, you should be making the DLC and stuff. Gosh. <laughs> Aw. So, I'm going to slow jog. My guy, like, loves his little sauntering jog like that. I even added this flat rock at the bottom, like a like it was naturally built off of this flat rock as like a natural stair step. Just whoop. Your guy might, my guy would be so stupid. I'm like, ooh, pink pancakes. Grab like, <laughs> and poisoned and dead. And have you noticed yet, Joel? I use the place everywhere mod for everything. Look closely at these railings. Do they look a little bit off to you? Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. Almost every single piece of this scaffolding and tower, once it was in place, I went through and just rotated five, ten degrees to give it that ramshackle look. So as we march up the staircase... I, like, I mean, I like, I love the even just the wood coming down. Like, oh, just how you place it all. It just looks... I want to explore this place. I'm just wondering right now. <laughs> I mean, here we go. <laughs> all the vines, of course, hand-placed yeah, by I me. Love that. I use different scaffolding pieces. Some that look like they've been, like, repaired kind of after mm -hmm. war. And as we go up, every piece of railing and flooring is a little bit different. And all these small rocks, again hand placed piece by piece to help detail the staircase <laughs> i'm just looking at your backpack of the character and i'm thinking yeah now i know why you're so immersed dave <laughs> like every little piece hand picked <laughs> every spot of dirt in the backpack hand detailed <laughs> even the power lines joel check out the power lines coming from the top of the tower the, yeah the telephone pole is like leaning just a bit because after a few hundred years i mean that's gonna get kind of rough looking i even added these patches of dirt and grass on top of the cliff where there was no detail because you're gonna be walking Gosh. right over it. It's gotta look real, right? Let's uh, actually break off. What get, in the? <laughs> go check out our uh, our nighttime outlook post right here. Little sniper's roost with a night vision assault rifle for watching for those dirty raiders trying to come in at night. This is like drink a beer, like hey man, think I can get a pot? Let me see if I can hit the, get a headshot. Like yeah, and they're like you know clink beers together. General Dave is very happy with himself. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Your character is actually immersed as well. <laughs> to make use of all this extra space on top of the cliffs that you're not supposed to be able to get to, and again, all the shrubs you see have been added by me to add some detail. I just realized all the freaking cables. Jeez. All the cables and wind turbines. Let's actually go over here. This soda's better than I have them lean out to go over the cliff like they've like bolted them to the side. <sighs> <laughs> Every line carefully drawn to not clip through the rocks and to look correct. I like these metal beam, like, whatever, uh, platforms. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. You've got your, your rough-looking, like, eye girder supports for the turbines. And if you kind of look out over the Commonwealth, like, this looks like the actual place to put a wind turbine up here on top of these cliffs. Now, Fallout says you can't do that. General Dave says, yes, I can. <laughs> Let's head back over here to the scaffolding. I'm gonna like clip through one of my custom rocks here and I die. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this staircase right here, Joel. Look at that ricketiness. Mm, I'm so immersed right now. <laughs> All the vines I've added beneath. Like if you could add extra squeaky sounds as you climbed it, like Ooh. I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I mod in sound effects yet? Just like place markers. Because, and they because work God out. says no. Because you'd be on this game for freaking like a ten thousand years, Dave. Holy crap. Like, so only ooh, twice can, as long yeah, now. It's only, so only twice. Oh my gosh. Check out the uh, the floorboards here and all the railings. I had a lot of fun going through and just like ramshackling everything. This is awesome. And of course. Of course. A proud minute. We man get it. Flag. We, we get it. I mean, <laughs> you have me to who, thank for all who this. Who raises and lowers the flowers to always stay up? No, you don't leave a flag up at night. <laughs> the captain of the guard, probably. <laughs> And you can see... <laughs> I used to see that happening every single day. Oh, sorry, the captain of the guard and the bugler. <laughs> you can kind of see... This is the area where most people build, kind of like the flat spots where the rocks are. Mm -hmm. But that's too boring for me. I've got to break the rules. So let's go back over here. So insane. 
Gosh. I love looking down the scaffolding here. Like, it really feels like a rickety old fire watchtower. Uh, no, I, I love it, dude. This is, this is phenomenal. And I also love this lantern mod. It's one of my favorite light mods. Ooh, that looks really cool. I use it for everything. This is the former fire lookout tower, which is now used by the Minutemen Postal Service. <laughs> This is how you get your caps and your messages from settlement to settlement. Look for missing loved ones, uh, sell a gun you don't need. The Minuteman Postal Service is there when you need them. Dude, and on they, time. <laughs> now you, you probably won't get this reference because you haven't played enough Zelda. Okay. But there's a character in Zelda that's like a postman. Yeah. But like it's funny because you, you like fight a boss and then you come out into the main like overworld area and this guy will go hee, 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 like running up to you with a little put like a little flag on and he's like got some mail for you you know it's like blah, 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 and you do it I just picture that like, like one of you guys going kind of like running all across like here you go sir in the apocalypse <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and this being a ranger cabin oh, I love the radio Someone, <laughs> someone's got a death claw head that's probably from us some pre war stuff cleanliness is godliness. <laughs> Courage today, victory for America tomorrow. <laughs> and your radio. And dude, check out the view out the window. That is a sweet view over the highway. Like, this tower had some seriously good views. Like, I picture you, Dave, just like drinking some coffee in the morning, looking out, using your binoculars, making mm. a few notes as you see, like, raiders, like, in the distance. <laughs> Walk over to your little seat, take a couple pot shots. <laughs> it's a good morning. <laughs> and we got some beds for the watch up here. And, of course, I had to add some trash and debris. I was like, yeah, okay. Yep. I mean, I mean of, of course. <laughs> all the trash, all the food, all the mats. <laughs> I just like sweep it like, hey, who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they've been cleaning up, but it's pretty <laughs> rough. Teddy Bear holding the freaking axe. And this was a national, <laughs> this was actually a national park, right? Yeah. So one of my Minutemen is a forester assigned to research how to grow plants better in the apocalypse and hopefully one day rebuild... Uh, the Commonwealth with some actual trees. This is the forestry station up here in the tower with our come and take it flag. And also you've got your uh, your classic bunk with the footlocker and the radio and the candles. And uh, this is actually a viewer idea here. I had like no idea how to do a stove up here and someone's like, just use the old style cooking stove. It's perfect. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's this like is totally, I love it. Yeah, totally a lookout uh, stove. But you know me. I couldn't just have the pipe just right there inside the room, right? So I found a, uh, a detailed pipe. It's called a greeble. It's a word for, like, small details you can add to the game. And it just goes right up there for the exhaust for the stove. When I saw the stove, I think if the general stayed here, you wouldn't be in charge of keeping that stove warm at night. It would be someone else coming up like, here you go, sir, like keeping the stove warm, making sure it's, like, you know, it's hot and ready for you in the morning. <laughs> if I stayed in the tower. Yeah, if. if yeah, if I did. I mean, I'm you can choose. Cabin. You can yeah. choose. Yeah. But they'd have to get ready whether or not you, they knew you were or not because you never know. And me being me, Joel, I use the barn pieces to mm -hmm. build this uh, outside structure, but they're full of holes, right? Which makes sense. It's been a long time since the war, but if the Minutemen have moved in, that wouldn't do. So we've actually put up some curtains and some patchwork to help seal up the building from the wind. So all these like metal and board pieces have all been added by the Minutemen since we moved in. And you can actually see from outside, a oh, little map of the Commonwealth there you saw <laughs> at the castle. That's cool. Is that an updated one or is it the same one? Same one for now. For now. Uh, this big piece right here had to seal up a big hole. But it gives it that kind of ramshackle, uh, kind of edited look to yeah, it. Yeah, it's, like it's awesome, here. man. I wish there were quests in the game. <laughs> they were just like, hey, like, almost doing very simple type jobs. You're like, yeah, hey, yeah. we got a message here. Are we going to check out a ranger station? Like, ah. Uh, like, it'd be awesome. Like, you see a fire, and it's just like, oh, got to take it. Put yeah, it you know what would happen, Joel? You'd arrive at the settlement and be like, this is a cool ranger station. Like, what you got for me? I'd be like, soldier. Fix that railing. That is, that is not safe. Look at that railing, Joel. Look, look at it. That's not safe. That's not safety. I mean, honestly, like, one of my dreams is to be able to, like, I, I want to go to, like, Italy, and, and the, but also I want to go to, like, the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Like, I love places that are just, like, I want to see, like, I like seeing the villages that are, like, built on rocky cliffs where it's just, like, oh, yeah, little yeah. steps this way and that. Like, and that's why, like, even Pacific Northwest areas, like, up in the mountains, just, like, the various bridges and just the old dirty dirt roads and stuff like that. Like, I love that kind of stuff. And I absolutely love to go visit them. My, uh, my Far Harbor watchtower was not enough for me. I had to do one here in the Commonwealth. And then, of course, expand on it. Because, as we're going to head around the side of the mountain here, 
going up out of bounds was not enough. I had some FPS left, not much, but some. So instead of doing the traditional thing that everyone does at Ten Pines Bluff, which is to build in the open areas, I was like, I've got this cool like ranger cabin that I tucked into the cliffside. We have the watchtower that's like tucked up on top. What if I just tuck all these settlements up against the cliffside? And so we're gonna duck around here, Joel. And can you tell me what's missing from this settlement compared to most of General Dave's settlements? Like, what's my favorite defensive feature at any settlement? I mean, like walls. Tons of walls, walls right? Secure, I mean, like you have security up there, but also like there's not many places for people to live too. Exactly. So. I wanted to do something different here. So instead of relying on walls, and like I said, building kind of out in this kind of hilly open area like everyone else does, I backed all of my living spaces like up into the cliff sides themselves. And then I covered them in turrets. So it's like your back's against the wall, but you're totally protected. Like people have to come right at you if they want to attack. So we have this little catwalk here. I can show you from the side what it looks like. <laughs> That's awesome. I've just tucked it right into the cliffside underneath the watchtower. Like the target practice cans? You saw it, yeah. The glasses for target practice kind of sit on the deck and you can just plink <laughs> off the deck. And I implemented the uh, the trees into the decking system like they use it as an extra support. That's cool. For the tree. And, you know, this is pre-war. So there's some garbage down here in the low spot, but... Uh, we're working on it, you know? It's the apocalypse. We'll clean up eventually. Let's do this duck around like this. It's not anything fancy. Ooh, a little bit of hole right there. But it's cozy. Let me just go around the side here. Someone's got their crappy pipe pistol ready to be grabbed there. A radio for getting the latest news from the Commonwealth, a newspaper, some tools, and again, water system up for the crops outside. <laughs> some storage and it's you know like I said not anything fancy but America lives on in you and you're gonna feel pretty protected in here because for anything to get at your nice living quarters in here well nice living quarters your secure living quarters I mean you have like a freaking million turrets yeah and these are like heavy laser and gatling and missile turrets I mean how many people do you have like living here anyways I guess I'm it's only sure. about 20 here okay. it's not anything too crazy um, what does that sign say over there Derek no Undertaker? Undertaker. What, <laughs> what in the world? Well, we have all this extra space out here, Joel, because we're not using a lot of the farmland, so we're tucked against the cliffs. So one of the features up here at Ten Pines Bluff, and let me go across my custom walkway here, just easy as it goes. I like, the, I like those lights. Right the now. light to help you see at night. I've kind of just stuck a lot of these platforms to help you navigate at night. So the Undertaker is using some of the extra land out here that I'm not using for farming, and he is actually burying Minutemen, or settlers, that have fallen. <laughs> and I think I've just got a couple of graves out here. Because again, FPS was getting to be a problem, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like in the apocalypse, getting an actual burial with like a, a marker is a pretty big deal. That's, oh, yeah. That's a pretty unusual thing. Um, speaking of... Especially when you have bodies just sitting underneath the cabin. I mean, they weren't yeah. Minutemen, so. <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, they, they were worth nothing. This guy right here, this ghoul... He was a ranger before the war, and he is now the captain of this entire settlement. The other guy was the captain of the guard. This guy is kind of, uh, I guess not the captain of the settlement, but like the uh, the settlement overseer, to use yeah. a Paul Tag word. But I figured, you know, he's got the experience from before the war. He's a good person to rely on for this area. Mm -hmm. well, let's head back over here. And again, a little bit low tech, a little bit farming. You've got your crappy outhouse. Yeah. You can close the door, but there's still a few holes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. Trust your neighbors, I guess. Let's head back over the platform here. Yeah, I'm just really happy with how this kind of, like, cliffside living came out. Because it's exactly I what I had it. in mind. I love it. And, you know, access ladders everywhere to get to all the turrets for maintenance. <laughs> and over here, we got our Brahmin feeding. We got our tanning section. Some extra guard posts. And we've got a little garden out here, and this is one of the uh, the other houses that was up here in the National Park area before the war. Hmm. And the Minutemen have repurposed it to be kind of like our one of our farming shacks. And honestly, uh, it's not great. Like, the rooftop, we're still working on it. <laughs> it's got some holes, but if you look at the amount of turrets covering it, it's going to be very, very secure. 
this settlement is more cozy than like high living like the castle or mm -hmm. sanctuary hills. This is a more outline settlement, and so we're we're still working on uh, kind of bringing them up to speed for the Minutemen way. <laughs> I'm sure they'll have walls someday <laughs> and concrete and everything else, but. This is kind of just like the, the farming shack where the farmers that are over on this side of the cliffside stay. And there's, you know, a sink and some storage area back here for the farming supplies and stuff like that. In case of an attack, you can kind of hunker down inside your crappy house mm -hmm. and just let the turrets do all the work. No, was, I just I love how you've kind of detailed it into the into the cliffside. That's I, even those little yellow lights, it kind of feels like honestly going to like a national park where yeah. they would have those lights like careful on your way through the tunnels. I do love how all the turbines look from down here. With if you look carefully, my rickety electric going like strung from wire to wire, from pole to pole, <laughs> <laughs> handcrafted <laughs> organic wiring, definitely from pole to pole. And from here, we have another great view. I mean, from the tower, you've got amazing views of the entire area, but also guard post at the kind of ground level. There's a train, train tracks go down. That's awesome. But if you look at all the cliffs out here in the area, like this being called Ten Pines Bluff, it just really felt like this place was begging for some kind of cliff-like side living yes. uh, arrangement. Which is why I also added this extra maintenance shed, which is now also being used for weapon repair for the settlement. And a little bit of extra sleeping quarters and some farming Not stuff as well. Job. So you've got a small bed in here, someone's crappy chair. Don't you wish the air conditioner still worked? <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Got some fresh vegetables. A really gross old bathtub, but... Oh, man. I mean, if you've got some water that comes <laughs> out of a faucet... <laughs> welding machine right there. Uh, yeah, right next to the bathtub. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. <laughs> weld, weld, weld. And then you've got uh, a reminder that General Dave will never stop fighting for you. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> and again... All right, I was like, what was that? I was like, oh, I see a person like through the crack. I was like, what is that? I'm like, oh, it's a turret. <laughs> Little bits of someone peeking in, hey! <laughs> They're watching the general give the door to a ghost. <laughs> Little bits of trash and bottles and, uh, you know, the animal heads in the wall. I imagine that besides the farming, you'd have to do some hunting out here because you're so far north at Ten Pines Bluff. And then uh, a station for the settlers to gather scrap with to help the settlement keep going and repair and get some nails oh, cool. and stuff. And a minigun turret to guard whoever's <laughs> unfortunate enough to have to use the crappy outhouse. There's like a bad guy night. right here, and you're sitting there, the gun just shoots through you. And, the <laughs> and notice, of course, the outhouse is kind of like on the hillside. It's like sliding downhill a little bit. I mean, it's a national park outhouse. It's been here for hundreds of years. So yeah, guys, this is Dave's Ranger Outpost at Ten Pines Bluff. What do you think, Joel? Dude, it's awesome. Like, I love it. Like, honestly, like, I think the railings and go up to the... Any, the top of the mountain part is my favorite. Where I glitched out of the ceiling of the settlement. Yeah, well, you you, ha you made such a good, like, honestly, it has a good flavor inside the buildings. Like, everything kind of feels just like, I don't know, it, it doesn't feel very much like Fallout, I guess, in a way. Like, it feels, yeah. it feels like starting anew. I feel like, like, we're actually getting stuff <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like. Are you crying, Joel? Yeah. So, so magnificent. But, like, no, yeah, it, it, it definitely feels like an actual ranger yeah. station. It doesn't feel like, I don't know, a Fallout ranger station. It feels like an actual ranger station. I think that's really Yeah, cool. I actually took inspiration from real life locations here in, well, real life. But, uh, the reason, Joel, that I can't stop smirking is because I have a confession. <laughs> What's about to happen? Everything I've been telling you is a lie. <laughs> about. My design for the settlement, about why it's cliffside, about why the ranger cabin's up there. What? <laughs> it's all a lie. <laughs> I'm so freaking confused. I pulled the wool over your eyes, Joel. <laughs> what? Let's that? take a quick look from above. I mean, that's, that's pretty sweet looking, right? It's, you can heck? see, like, all the buildings nestle gently into the cliffside. Did you make, like, I, I don't know, like, is there something floating in the sky, Dave? <laughs> like, what's going on? What if I told you, Joel, that the entire point of the mountain was to conceal a secret? <laughs> I can imagine you would try to conceal a secret. <laughs> All right, what are... I... <sighs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this too much. <laughs> this has been in planning since, like, March or so. <laughs> Someone actually, and I'll definitely give them a shout-out in the description, wrote a custom mod for this part to help me sell it and to help pull the wool over your eyes. Look at that. This was a pre-war ranger settlement. 
it was actually a national park. Now you did all do all this, right? I did do all okay, this. This okay. is actually my settlement. Okay, I was just wondering if like, but this is not the main feature. all been there, and I was like, I never realized that I'm just looking at the same thing that everyone else can see, except your frame rate. So <laughs> it has to be. The frame rate was kind of the giveaway, which is why I lied as much uh, as possible about it. I was just like, okay. This was an actual ranger station and a national park, but it was to conceal a secret. That tower was not just for watching for fires. The tower up there? Yeah. Let's head in here and let's pull the secret lever what? on the animal head. What the shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Welcome, Joel, to the secret vault at Ten Pines Bluff. This is like the Minuteman vault? Minuteman vault? This was a DIA intelligence bunker meant to watch for nukes hitting the Boston area before the war. Of course you have freaking lore. Of course <laughs> you have freaking lore. As we go in, notice the bubble turret, <laughs> making sure <laughs> <laughs> that you uh, you actually do have access to this area. Oh, the webcam. I like the camera. Not webcam, but the cameras. Oh, there's cameras everywhere. Well, you notice the camera really fast. The button to open the secret door in the cabin from the outside. And notice you can look right through all the wall hangings to conceal I, the door. I, I didn't notice anything. I was not like... I was looking at freaking the freaking Notice comics. Notice how the one chair is pulled slightly away so you can get through. I added the comic <laughs> books as a distraction. You so bastard. I <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a second. I thought I saw a Fallout Shelter sign somewhere. So before we go into the vault, Joel, would you like to see the breadcrumbs that I left for you to notice? Okay, wait. I saw a Fallout Shelter sign. Okay. I thought I saw something that said Vault Tech, but I, I don't know. Like I feel like everything says Vault Tech around here. There are Vault Tech posters at the Ranger Cabin, but those are pretty common, right? So, before we go into the vault itself, <laughs> I'll show you the breadcrumbs that I left for you. You notice the first one, the Fallout Shelter sign. Yeah, I saw it, but I figured, honestly, it was like, yeah. oh, it's a cool sign. Go. Let's go around here. Squint, Joel. Anything stand out to you? Uh, is it the grate underneath? That ah. is the outtake for the air system hidden in the side of the mountain. And, notice how it didn't go all the way back into the storage part of the house over here? Concealed in the pre-war house before the war is one of, and notice the vault tech crates, sort of the primary air intakes for the vault hidden inside of the storage Well, I was house. wondering, like, what the hell this thing is, the blue thing? Like, I was, I was like, ah, it's storage, I guess. It's storage, but it was to conceal the secret and the air system for the vault. Well, let's head back around. Gosh. Let's get to the actual tour. The secret DIA bunker. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like, going into this, I'm going. I'm like, this is all awesome. And I was like, oh wow, Dave did actually finally make a small set. I mean, like, <laughs> honestly, it's not small. It's all not this, that you could have been done with this, and it was like, this yeah. is damn good. I love it. This is yeah. great. I was like, hey, sweet, you did a small project for once. <laughs> you thought you were going home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Uh, they actually added this vault door in the Vault Tech DLC. You're such a lying bastard. Oh, it's gonna be really short. This is really, really small settlement. Just a little, little farming settlement. Oh gosh. Let's open her up, and you won't be able to hear it, but it has the actual like, ah, ah, and the alarm. Yeah. So let's get that started here. Let's see if I can hit it without the UI turned on. I saw something. There we go. Notice how carefully everything's constructed, so it's gonna slide right back into the wall. And welcome. Holy crap. <laughs> and the frame rate struggles. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine getting crushed by this door? <laughs> oh my gosh. This door, Joel, <gasps> it's so... Double of doom. <laughs> it's so carefully measured. This is right behind that shack. All those rocks that I said the boards were holding up, it was to hide the concrete that hides the vault Holy door. crap, dude. So before the war, this was an <laughs> intelligence bunker. <laughs> meant to monitor How communication. How the shit did you put this inside the mountain? The and mountain... Is fake. Would you like to take a second here, Joel, and look at what was actually here when we started? Oh gosh. Let's go into workshop mode for a second. There'll be about a 10 second freeze. <laughs> the person's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> And before we go through the screening area and on into the vault, let's take a look. Every oh, single thing in here, gosh. every sign, every piece of wall I used to conceal every crack and every rock, every sign, every light, <laughs> and Joel. Every single part of this mountain is fake. What? Every last bit of this mountain what? is a hundred percent fake. <laughs> I'm going to hold down A here. The entire build what? is fake. The entire mountain. Oh my! What is? Oh my gosh! 
I have grabbed the entire build because it's it's all it's all built. There's nothing here. So I'm gonna let go of it. Uh, and see them already stuck. Let me just you're horrified, aren't you, Joel? I started working on this in March, before the Vault Tech DLC was even announced. And when they announced it, I'm like, uh, I know what I'm gonna do with this. Dude, the fact that like you spent already an ungodly amount of time doing yes. all this. Yes. Uh, I, I haven't even seen what you were building. Oh my gosh. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the scrap all command to show you almost what was here before. It won't quite work because the things I've placed outside. To me, it will, yeah, I'll, I'll get the gist of it, I think. <laughs> the things I've placed outside of the build area uh, won't actually get scrapped because they're outside of the workshop. Let me just do scrap all. It'll take a few seconds to go through. A few seconds to go through. The game crashes. <laughs> Ten Pines Bluff was just a boring little farm before I got my hands on it. Like even those? Every bit of rock you see in the center of the uh, settlement. What the crap. So again, not everything is actually being scrapped because everything that I placed like outside of the area, I can't do anything with. Sure. But all these rocks, all the way down through here, all these were added separately. And I retextured them to match the surrounding cliffs. They were a darker rock texture. I matched them with the gray texture so that you wouldn't notice. Uh, so you can see here all the tower that I placed outside of the build area. The game actually can't scrap it anymore because yeah. <laughs> it's outside the build area. So all these rocks and everything. But yeah, Joel, this is Ten Pines Bluff as it probably looks in your game. It's a farm. <laughs> with the floating. Yep. It's mm. just a farm. But I look at this. Okay, now I recognize it because I'm like, oh yeah, there's people in this stupid little shack there that I talk with this person that always... The workshop bothered. is actually... Yeah, I remember that. It's glitched in the mountain. You can't get to it anymore because I had to put it in the rock. <laughs> but when I decided that I wanted to have some kind of like hidden bunker just to pull the wool over your eyes, I looked at this and said, okay... There's only like a few feet of elevation change here, but I'm like, I can work with this. I can build the mountain up. And what I did was I used these rocks to blend it down into the cliff side. So it wouldn't just be like a big clump did of rock. Did you build the vault first and then build the mountain over it? Yes. Oh, jeez. And then I rebuilt it when the Vault Tech DLC came out because I used old How many pieces. times did you go, oh, I built a vault. That's good enough. No, nope, I'll add more. No, nope, I'll add more. No, nope, I'll <laughs> Almost everything outside of the vault was added in the last month. So I built the vault first, the fake mountain first, then I built the tower and everything else to detail the outside. And originally it was just going to be like enough to convince you. But then I was like, I'm enjoying this, I like this build. <laughs> so it's basically two builds in one. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pause here for a second while I load a save game because I've now destroyed the build. <laughs> There's no coming back from that command. Let's head back up to Deception Town, USA. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, give me a one-word thought on the build so far. I know you haven't seen the vault yet, but... <sighs> you tricky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't one word, but I'll take it. I can't, ta I can't explain one word. Like, I was not expecting that whatsoever. Wait, are those like vault... I'm kind of, it looks like vault, the vault from it's, bodies it's, or something. It's vault yeah. dwellers in army uniforms. <laughs> it was another breadcrumb Gosh. to hint at what was inside of the rock. I just hear bum 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 It's the same man. Dum 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 dum. But yours is do 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 Right in the door here, you have the screening location where you're checked for final radiation and for your Minuteman ID. But of course, they know who General Dave is. Over here on the right, this bunker was designed for roughly six months to maybe 12 months tops of survival after a nuclear holocaust. So they had just crops enough hydroponics area lately. where they could grow crops and survive until it was time to open and uh, try to like reestablish communication with the government and stuff like that. This was a place where the military, the DIA specifically, with the help of Vault Tech, could have a communication center north of Boston that would survive a direct hit on Boston. Hmm. So we've got just enough food down here, which the Minutemen, of course, are now using to survive those couple of months. And we rebuilt our uh, gardening station over here. <laughs> Bubble turrets, watching everything. But, you know, it's after the war. We're not going to follow all the rules. We've got a brewing station here. <laughs> We're making some fresh Minutemen beers. Where'd you get the book that's open? This is actually all one crafting table from a custom mod, uh, Northland awesome. Diggers. Yeah, it's a really cool, like, it's a giant bottle of rum. <laughs> <laughs> that's a massive. <laughs> when your Minutemen have a powerful thirst. <laughs> 
the fan's not much. And over here, but you can see on the floor, the That's awesome. Central Intelligence Agency, or Defense Intelligence Agency, SEAL. Uh, vault Tech built this small bunker, not quite a vault, but like more of a, a survival bunker uh, for the DIA. Which is also why you're going to see a lot of reminders about the dangers of communism. It's at your door. <laughs> your vault like door. A, like an octopus demon. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, Joel, to start things off, let's head right past the screening area. Uh, normally this guard, if they weren't waiting for the general, would be here at the desk to check your ID. You up to and the, the settlers here go on go. rotation. So you get a week robot. inside the vault, the bunker, and then a week outside. So you get the comforts and the safety of being inside. So damned hungry. But this is the situation floor, where before the war, DIA uh, civilian contractors would listen to the radios for reports of nuclear attack and military intelligence. Do you ever wonder, Joel, where all these Minutemen background checks come from? You're looking at the Minutemen background check situation room, where we have repurposed the DIA bunker to communicate with all of our settlements to keep track of who's been naughty and who's been nice. Notice the uh, the thing? officer's desk up here. He's got his terminal and all of his equipment for making reports. He's got his camera, his phone, his radio. Well, we gotta make sure he knows where he is. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually using the pre-war communication equipment to blacklist certain settlers. Did you make these? The, uh... Yes, these are custom textures that I made for this build. These are some of the people that I've met at Nuka-Cola World. These are bad people. Uh, Why am I Black. not on this list? <laughs> we don't talk about Joel. <laughs> I you, don't exist. You technically work for me. <laughs> we just don't talk about it. <laughs> Part of the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> so before the war, this radio would be going with you know the news and intelligence reports, and all of the staff would be typing away on their terminals or their typewriters to keep track of how the war was going. Additionally, I made use of all this whiteboard space here to give a little shout out to my Patreon backers. People that help pay for my monthly That's internet awesome. costs, uh, the software that I have to buy per month. So you guys are actually in a Fallout build as a thank you for your support. So uh, thanks to you guys. You guys really do help make these videos happen because the average render for these videos is like 30 gigs and uh, I have to pay extra for my internet <laughs> to upload them not in like a week. Um, so yeah, thanks guys, and I hope you enjoy your shout out. That's cool. I love the the Patrick. Uh, bottom, that's yeah, I like it. It's a nice touch. It's Patrick just, actually uh, everything just, just not like perfect. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, good job. Patrick just pledged like two days ago, so I had to add him to the text after it was already finished. But I was like, I'll make it work. Like, no, it looks did you like rotate it, the T and all those? A little bit. Golly, dude. <laughs> Jeez. So, where do you want to head from here, Joel? What's that right there? Just whatever. Security oh, research. Really Security research. This is where the commander of the bunker would perform... <laughs> exit zone. Okay. <laughs> I'm exiting the zone. <laughs> Only if you're allowed to. <laughs> Only if you're allowed. We got our, one of our mainframes here for all the computers underground. Vault Tech provided some nice uh, Vault Tech style paint for some custom power armor for the bunker in case of a heavy attack or maybe the seal's broken on the vault. It's even got a jetpack because we're up here in the mountains to fight from cliffside to cliffside to help protect the bunker and the people inside. So there's no overseer for this bunker, it's not a vault, but the military commander, the DIA commander, this is his personal office, which includes radio communication equipment and research equipment as well. 